Hello, this video covers ancient Chinese history. In particular, this video describes five important topics during the rule of Shi Huangdi during the Qin Dynasty. The five topics in this video include the rise of Shi Huangdi, how he standardized China, how he protected China's borders, how he stopped opposition, and how the dynasty soon collapsed after his death. Topic number one is Emperor Shi Huangdi. Emperor Shi Huangdi ruled over China from 221 to 210 BCE. He is known for unifying Chinese culture and its warring regions during the period of unrest after the Zhao Dynasty. Shi Huangdi used legalism to rule over China. He had strict rules and severe punishments for those that disobeyed his ambitious orders. He consolidated his power using military might, spies, and bribery. He replaced the feudalistic system with a strong centralized government. The emperor organized China by dividing his territory into 36 districts. Each district was governed by three officials. Qin Shi Huangdi even exiled his own mother when he suspected that she had plotted to overthrow him. Topic number two is how the first emperor standardized China. The emperor standardized the Chinese legal system, its currency, its system of weights and measures, and its writing system. In the legal realm, he punished builders if structures collapsed and he forbade widows from remarrying. In addition to fines for the rich and the poor, officials would punish offenders with forced labor, whippings, or even beheadings. In terms of the economy, he made metal coins of gold and bronze with a hole in the middle as the only official currency. Topic number three is protecting China. The emperor's most ambitious construction project was of course the Great Wall of China. The wall was built to protect China's northern border from invaders known as the Changnu. These might also be what we know as the Huns, but I have not been able to confirm this with a definitive answer. Either way, these were nomadic horsemen to the north of the Qin Dynasty. Earlier kingdoms had constructed segments of the wall, but the first emperor wanted these pieces connected together and even expanded to the west. According to accounts, thousands died building the wall and some of their bodies were entombed in the walls. The next topic is about how Shi Huangdi ended opposition. The first emperor's ambitious dreams created many enemies for him in China. He brutally executed his critics, including Confucian scholars. The Confucians believed in ruling in a more gentle way of being a good role model and behaving appropriately. The emperor's harsh hand was creating more and more opposition. The emperor upped the ante and had Confucian books burned. Anyone who opposed this would have their face tattooed in disgrace and sent into hard labor. Anyone criticizing the government would now be executed. He even sent his own son away from court when he opposed his father's will. And the last topic is the end of the Qin Dynasty. The emperor was so ambitious that he searched for a way to become immortal. But no man can escape death, and he died in 210 BCE. He was buried in a huge mausoleum along with an army of 6,000 life-sized terracotta warriors in Xi'an, China. This mausoleum was lost and rediscovered in 1974. Like many strongmen, after he died, there was a power vacuum and a revolt broke out. A civil war raged until the Han Dynasty was established in 202 BCE. He only ruled for about 10 years, but he left a huge impact on the world. Thanks for watching, and if you're interested in more Chinese history, please check out my channel. I also have many videos on other historical topics in ancient and medieval history. Please share my content with someone who might find this useful.